see the day where a lunatic will turn herself in for evaluation. Please, Mega Jane. Who are you deceiving? A shell Koboko. And what are you, Vivian? A paranaira naira be? Look, if you don't sit down there, I will use this bottle to hit you on your head. Pig. Try him now. I'm calling you. Vivian, me. Never call me. Quiet, please. Please, ladies, lend me your ears. Try. See better, Momo. Now this one is a call, Momo. Can you please lend me your ears? Well, let me start by introducing myself. I am Banjo Ogunleye. When you come our joint, eh? I am a filmmaker. If you see the way babes they rush, we first thing send a customer in B. Then, uh, mm. even me. I beg, make a shut up, Joe. I be on a miss road. Yo, guys, listen. I called this meeting today because of my wife, my late wife, Equal, whose life journey was. Um, one full of pains and struggles, as some of you might relate. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, she died through the process. Sure. But you can't be this one. I'm sorry, I'm not supposed to be like this, but... Hey. This one don't see opportunity to snatch now, now. They tell you. I beg your pardon, this, this is my sister, Kemi. She's gonna help me through this. What I'm holding in my hand is my wife. It was Jonna, which she wanted me to find and share with you. I'd like you to watch it. And if you have any questions and comments, please feel free. I'd like this to be as interactive as possible. At the end of this, you will all have the opportunity to defend your business proposals. And the 10 best ones will get 5 million naira each. <laughs> Light. favor please love anything my love please get me my journal sure mm, you won't find it there it's in the oven in the kitchen at home baby now i need to put some things down let me get you something from the doctor's office you can no just go it might take you some time before you find it. Okay, my love. Mm -hmm. I won't be long. Mm -hmm. Hold on for me, please. All right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love you. I love you too. Reverend. Uh 
How are you, my dear? Uh, I'm dying. Shh. Echo? Stop. You will not die. Okay? Please, just hear me out. You know, I wasn't such a bad person. I did what I did for a reason. All I wanted was a, a better life. A cliche, yes, but quite true. At 18, my parents couldn't afford to send me to university after primary and secondary school. So I continued in the village with my parents, farming and doing manual labor. Six years later, dad's prostate cancer condition worsened and I decided to go to Lagos to work and make some money like most girls do. I registered with a maid recruitment agency. I was housed for a while until I got hired as a maid. But it wasn't long before I discovered that many wives cannot stand a beautiful young girl working as a maid, regardless of how hardworking, dutiful and innocent as I was, the madams looked at me otherwise. And very soon, I could not continue with any domestic or nanny work. I can only imagine. But everywhere I went, my stamp of woe trailed me. I discovered quickly that beauty I had a price. Uh, how do you touch me like that now? Excuse me? Don't try it again. Don't try it. Uh, we'll There's no problem here. This girl is very rude. Uh, you still have mouth to talk after what you did there. The view is rude. You see what I mean? How do you expect me to come back here with such Rude service people you have here. I'm, I'm very sorry, sir. Um, she's new here. Um, equal. Sir. Come with me. This is so unprofessional. I, I cannot condole such nonsense. <laughs> I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Uh. I'm sorry, but your services are no longer required. I'm sorry. Imagine. I got fired for speaking up for myself. How is that for a useless world? That was wrong of him. So, did you find another job? Yes. Until I met Atom. An old friend from back home. Thank you. Welcome back, sir. Atom. Atom. You don't remember me? I'm sorry, I don't. What are you doing here? I'm just 
here trying to survive. Uh, really? Uh, okay. How long have you been in Lagos? For about 10 months now. And you? I've been here for ages, my dear. You know what? You really, really have to call me because honestly speaking, you can't be here anymore. I mean, better things to do. Call me, okay? I will. I'll be expecting your call, okay? Okay. All right, take care. I hooked up with Atom. And I asked lots of questions. Long story short, I was introduced into the business of sex trading. Mm. Alas, I could send substantial money home to aid Dad's recovery. I planned. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Are you a customer? <laughs> uh, Fresher, sure you are in it. Anyway, how much for short time? 50,000 naira. 50,000 naira for short time? Are you lost or something? Are you a virgin? Get out. That is my fee. If you cannot pay, drive on. Okay, okay, okay. I'll pay 700. I said you should get out of here. What the fuck is wrong with you, bitch? Why must you be that expensive? Hey, look, I'm sorry, okay? Please come with me. Sorry, I changed my mind. Are you kidding me now or something? Is this your first night out? Sweetheart, hoes don't change your mind. They play ball. Okay, okay, look. I'll pay you 50,000, all right? Are you deaf? I said I changed my mind. I see you're angry, yeah? I'm sorry, okay? I'm actually a very nice person. All I want is your company, all right? I promise no sex, okay? No sex. I'm just curious to know you since you're a little bit different from the rest. Are you sure? No sex. And you give me 50,000 naira just for company? I cross my heart and hope to die. Uh, well, I'll come. But you have to pay me first. No qualms, sure. This is it, all right? This guy gave me 50,000 naira just for company. Are you serious? Can you come with me? Sure, why not? Let's go. Incidents. I die. I still feel the pain. I was told of the usual outcome, but I never expected rape. At least, not for my first time. Oh, you were a virgin. Yes. And that one incident changed everything. I am sorry to hear that. It's okay. I guess it was part of my training. 
Because after that abuse, I was determined to never compromise the situation. I had to be in control and call the shots. I was no longer going to be raped, abused and debased. I had to move on. My father needed to get better. And so for five years, I worked on achieving just that. I slept with every man that offered me money. I was no longer that good crying girl for me, could you know? I was a self-assured go-getter. Yeah, that's how we do. Not today. First one, Joe. Shush. Ah, I didn't feel you. I want this to talk back. Show you say him still the kakaraka. All these old men. I them they do pass. I them for my client list too. All those randy motherfuckers. Hmm. Hmm. Before you insult them, make you not forget say not them the papers. <coughs> okay. At this point, saying that you all like to chat about what you're watching, I'd like to chat a little and ask if it was chosen path was justifiable. She was raped and abused, yes. But does that justify what she did? Excuse me, little Miss Perfection. I hope you haven't called us here to go all moral on us. Do you have any idea what it means to be defiled? Raped? Abused? Do you know that despite all the cry for help by rape victims, society still stigmatizes us? Listen. No, you listen to me. Let me educate you. When a man, woman, or anything defiles your body, they not only defile the pussy, they do the soul, your spirit, and your psyche. Your whole existence is just tormented day and night by that single act of rape, especially as a virgin. I was raped as a virgin at 23. <laughs> yes, I was one of the good ones. Now, after that traumatizing experience of a gang rape, I lost all forms of sexual emotion. I loved my husband, yes, but I couldn't. I couldn't get past relieving that painful experience when he made love to me. He moved on. Now, I had a daughter to take care of. A body that men lusted after, and a supposed instrument of pleasure that was blank and felt nothing even when worked on for hours. So I had a little chat with my pussy. I said, Cats, you got me here in the first place, so you get me and my daughter out of this mess. was fine. Money sent home had done good. You would expect I would stop 
after that. Yet, I continued. When you come from a place of lack and taste the life of seeming ease, you fear that you return to where you started. Equal! Yes, ma! Here you are. Dave is not feeling too well. I won't be going to school today. Okay, ma'am. Please keep an eye on him, okay? Yes, Thank you. Uh, that reminds me. Please make that delicious edikai come soup, okay? Yes, There's money you need on the table. Whatever you need, call me, all right? Thank you, Bye. Is my wife gone? Yes, she's gone. My dear Ezekiel, looking as beautiful as always. And you will not get any of this beauty if you don't immediately make the transfer you promised for my rent. Come on, Tim. It's been two months since I started warming your bed and you're yet to do something tangible for me. Come on now. Oh, this game no try at all. Ha! No matter how bad, we shall not feed you this kind of heartless thing. Ah ah! She don't tell her to stand forward. I mean, I will talk to me to the kind business. Enter person matrimonial bed. I beg, she day heartless die. Now, what do you call the call heartless? What do you call call person we rape her? I beg, we cannot forget this rape matter. Now, only on a day they rape. I know a lot of women where they don't rape and their lives no end for a shower walk. I not all say rape good though. We can only use them as an excuse. Make turn that fire that your common mouth as you sit down there so. We can not chill, Joe. What did they talk not true? We did not rape me. But I still be ashy. Not true. And all of us know what we define from our different customers. And customers plenty throw away. Demand for us they increase every day. Now why is our business? They grow. We don't enough for bank to go do your own. I mean, they call yourself wrong scale. Abi, go stand for street. All of us now the same thing. We be yashi. We they find sex and money. More money, oh. Because some people don't do the work, build house. Yeah, they steal the hustle other people, customer. Make fire catch that your smelly mouth for the way they talk. After I don't catch that your yeyo pyoko, where you they use a camel wash. At least I they try wash my own. It better pass you where they spray on the perfume on top. It's <laughs> Try me, oh. Upset the neighbor worker because that five million era, I need them. He go do plenty things. I be ashamed don't they catch a mass when they discuss the matter. No be one show us film. He never holla. Uh huh. Uh. But how can you guys be so outrightly and blatantly inconsiderate? Do you not imagine what this man may be going through? To be sharing this painful experience of his wife may be taking a toll on him. And all you guys can do is rubbish the whole process. Look around you. There are no hidden cameras here. <laughs> so stop the act, please. No be big brother house we day. All of us come here to hustle for the five million naira. And no be by speaking plenty, plenty English. Madam, do I look like I'm putting up an act? All I'm saying is try and be considerate of his feelings. Abi? Ah. Nah. I beg no vex for this question, no? As you clean like this, they spray spray for nose. You two don't claim a shower because of five million naira. <laughs> I beg you before one and we don't come to bamboozle this man and collect free money. <laughs> you lie. <laughs> it is not only those who stand by the roadside looking for clients and prostitutes. Some of us have actually redefined the game. <laughs> I beg you! Redefined or not, shower na shower. <laughs> <laughs> So which game you can't they play? As you know they stand for road. I've been around baby you be. Do you hear I them? See I have put on the They're making a complete fool out of me and the entire place. Anyways, I am what they call a video vixen. I dance for top music video artists. 
I not only dance for them, I also sleep with them. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Now she won't sleep with them now. Because my cousin they where they dance for them. And she know they sleep with them because she they contented with the money where they pay her. I beg you, blame yourself for your misfortune and shut the fuck up, make we see road. Uh -uh. Are you fucking kidding me? No, I am fucking dicking you, fucking video vixen. <laughs> This is only but the first seminar and you want to give up? How do you think your wife will feel? She asked you to do this so she can rest in peace, I'm sure. We ask for decorum as we continue. Remember a lot of money is at stake. And before anyone hands out millions of naira, they must get some sort of degree of cooperation and seriousness. Please, eh? We are sorry. We understand ourselves. That's all we be. No more unnecessary interruptions and snide remarks, please. Understood? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. I returned home to see my folks after I got a demanding call from my mom to do so. She reminded me that a total of 11 years had passed after I left. I made arrangements to visit them, but when I did... Hello, how are you? A whole lot had changed. Well done, your face like this? Are you not happy to see me? Oh, if you are this way, then Papa must be very angry. Your father left us last week. Left? Dana, why? Did you two have a fight? No. Your father is dead. Your father is dead. My husband is dead. May his soul rest in peace. Amen. And your mother, she must have been devastated. Hmm. She was, no doubt, but my presence brought back the happiness in her eyes. And I'd planned to stay a little bit longer after the burial. But she made me cut short my stay. Hmm. The good old mother's virtue had kicked in. Ma, welcome. How yes, was judge? Oh, so wonderful. <laughs> It's so Imagine. wonderful. Good, good. I came with uh, our brother, I see, and he's a clerk in our church. He's our guest. I brought him to see you because he has indicated interest to marry you. Okay. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. You see, this is my daughter, Ikua, I told you about. Mm -hmm. uh, feel free. You're welcome. Hi. Hey. Hi, Ikua. Your mom told me a lot about you. And based on that, you want to marry me? Yes. Do you even know me? I already know your mom, and that is something to consider if you want to take a wife. <laughs> you have got to be kidding me. It's it. <laughs> Snap out of it, because things no longer work that way. I am my mother's daughter, yes, but nonetheless totally different. Excuse me. That's the gate. Mama, we'll see in church. Igual,
Sister, why? why were you so rude with our guests? Your guests, ma. Your guests. Did I tell I was looking for a husband? At 39. You think you're you're still young? Ma, even if I am 50 years old, hmm. that does not give you the right to get me a husband. So don't go there, but this is unbelievable. No. The only unbelievable thing here is when I slap you and put sausages into your bread, what do you mean? Oh, is it because you have gone to Lagos and made all the money? How you feel you cannot respect me again? But remember, this is still my house. And I'm leaving it for you right now. I hope you didn't leave before making peace with her. Not really. But she now knew where and how to find me. And she came not long after I left. Ikwama. Oh, for food. I come on, Kelly. This is my home. <laughs> it is. But let me take you into your room so you can relax. It's been a long journey, and I'm sure you're tired. No, my dear. So Tom Ghana. What kind of work do you do here in Lagos? We will talk later. Just uh, come and go and relax. No, I will not relax until you tell me the kind of work you do that can acquire you all this thing. Why you surprise me? Is it how them can I? I sell goods, the complex goods that people require. Okay. Where is your shop? My shop is everywhere. It's on the go, on my phone, on my iPad. People send me messages and then, or they give me a call and then I go and supply them. Ma, this is Lagos. So you have to be, you know, find smart ways of making money. After a hard day's work, people are tired. After having gone through traffic, they're tired. So when they find a vendor who offers them home delivery on goods and services, they buy into it. Uh -huh. The same Lagos that people will come from far and near to Lagos and do all manner of nonsense, thinking that they are doing jobs to earn a living. Mm. That is why I'm asking you again, oh, the name of your goods. Mm. Okay, look at it. Customer just sent me a message that they want some of my juice. So I need to go and buy it, and then I'll take it to the customer. I've been hearing goods, goods, goods. Does it not have a name? Nne, we call it opioko water. Otolotolo fresh juice. Make yourself at home. If you drink at once, you must surely come back. <laughs> this mama na lena. Make she come, make my mama teach her. But seriously, sir, some of these mothers, they are one or too many. You carry money, come, then go complain. You not carry, come, then go vex. <sighs> Me, I tell you. Hey, you, leave. Eh? Leave? Uh-uh. Oh, -uh. God. Never you tell Semeku feel free to ask questions as they watch the film. But I also said no more silly interruptions. Bros. Bros. Who watches a movie without side talks? This is not just a movie, goddammit! Can't you just get it in flow with the process? Look, I'm not begging any of you to stay. If you're tired of watching, you can get up and walk out now. I'm doing this for the benefit of you, Lord. Because my wife died as a result of what you all do. And if care is not taken, some of you are going to end up the same way. After all, what man will wear a condom after paying for your, for, for your uh, upioko or uh, to, tolo tolo juice or whatever it is you call it? Uh, oh God, some people they wear a shower. Waiting. Let me ask question. <laughs> mm. Look, no more interruptions. Do we have an understanding? Yes, sir. I feel weak. Um, you should take a rest. No. 
I'm determined to finish my story. Never mind. I'll soon get to the point where I met my angel of a husband, Banjo. You two were definitely made for each other. I know. You'll be fine. You'll see. <coughs> Sorry. Hello. Hi. Hi. I'd like a haircut. Oh, I'm sorry, but this salon is only for women. Too old for this. Go home to your wife. Hmm? <laughs> See, Ashao. Ashao, the third customer, make you go home to your wife. <laughs> this will go get funny, die. You know to say she they pretend. She don't they die for the guy. Uh, why she no go like her? You know, she said the man a fine man. <laughs> Try, Yoga. <okay>? You fine guy. <laughs> Okay, please calm down. Please, can, can we, can we continue? I love this smile. His laughter. He was so warm. So charming. Our love grew strong. And when he proposed, I immediately accepted. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Come on, come <laughs> So, here she is in the flesh. Hmm. Equal. Akman. <laughs> oh, Iko, my dear. I'm so happy to finally meet you. It's been a long time coming for Banjo after all these years. I've been waiting to see the woman who will finally take his eyes off work. <laughs> Mom, no, no time for a long story. We have to get back. Mm. You, you said hello. Of course I have. She did. Welcome, Iko. Thank you. You look very beautiful. Thanks. And you guys kind of look alike. <laughs> yeah, right. It's so nice to meet you all. Thank you for having me. And Kemi, I do have your namesake as a friend. She's a nice lady. I'm sure she is. <laughs> do have a seat, dear. Be comfortable. And where is the head man of this house? Has he bailed on me now that I've done it? Dad! How can I bail out on my son, who has found the right one? Banjo. I'm sorry, I've been busy. You know, it's been hectic trying to walk in your footsteps. <laughs> <laughs> I am proud of you. Sorry, you know me don't go Thank you, Papa. Thank you, Papa. Thank you, Papa. Thank you, my dear. Thank you. So, Dad, meet my fiancé. You go meet my dad. Eva, yeah. Ah, what was she? Yeah, ah, ooh. Dad. Banjo, I am afraid I can't give you the blessing you seek to marry her. <laughs> what? Why? I am sorry, but I can't. Ah. You are? Chief, 
Can you explain to me why you reacted so? You ready? I will not give my blessings to Banjo. He can't marry her. Why not? That is my decision. And my word is final. Your decision has no bearing, Abi. <laughs> you must give me a better reason, or else I will not stand with you on this. Ereti, I do not have any reason. My spirit does not agree with hers. <laughs> Since when did you become spiritual? Since now, Ereti. Please leave me be. Leave me. You can also. Dad. Dad. Do you mind explaining? Banjo, my spirit does not agree with hers. Your spirit? Well, if that's the only excuse you have, I'm going to have to disobey you this once and go ahead and marry her because mine does. Suit yourself, Anjo. Thank you. You don't thank me. You do not have my blessings. Thank you all the same. So, I take it he married you against his father's will? Sure he did. Except for his father, other family members were in attendance. It must have been a hard compromise for him. Not harder than the compromise I had to make. You have to let me marry your son, Chief. Please. That will never happen. I love Banjo with all my heart. All I know is that you are not capable of loving anyone. I thought so too until I met him. Leave him alone. Find another prey. He is not a prey. Leave him alone. Find another. Please. What are you afraid of, Chief? That, that I'll tell him about you? About us? <laughs> Does he even know the type of woman that you are? He knows what he needs to know. I'm a better person since I met him. I won't let you marry him. You are poison. Your son is intelligent. He will figure it out. Please just, just help me out here. I don't want to lose him. I will give my blessings, but on one condition. What? Just this once. Never! How difficult can what I ask be for a woman like you? You shouldn't have. Huh? Trust me, Reverend. This is only one of too many I shouldn't have. Yet he didn't show up for the wedding? No, he didn't. But that didn't stop us from having a blissful marriage for the next four years. That is until karma came calling. What happened? Hmm. I started having funny symptoms like fever, fatigue, night sweats, nausea, diarrhea, vomiting, weight loss. I had to get it checked. Multiple test results have confirmed your prognosis to be advanced HIV or AIDS. Here, all four test results. You may wish to have it repeated elsewhere.
But don't I have to have HIV before AIDS? How is the skip even possible? Well, it is possible, but there is no such thing as a skip. You see, most people don't get themselves checked, even when they know they have been exposed to the virus. And because the HIV virus can sit in the human body unnoticed for 10 years, carriers go around as normal. Over time, the virus spreads and weakens the immune system targeting immune cells called the CD40 cells. HIV positive people are diagnosed with advanced HIV or AIDS when there are fewer than 200 CD4 cells per cubic milliliter of blood. So, how many are mine, these CD4 cells you speak of? 17, is so begin to explain how I felt sitting there. I prayed it was all a dream. May I ask where your husband is, Mrs. Sobule? He needs to get tested as soon as possible. He's not in the country. He traveled. I will reach him. All hope is not lost. We will get you started on antiretroviral medications immediately. When taken according to schedule, the medication should be able to stop the further advancement of the virus. Okay. Once started, the medication must be taken every day of your life. Is there a 100% guarantee for cure? Um, the combination therapy is not a cure for the virus. What it does is to reduce the viral load. And with a healthy lifestyle, you can live a very long life. However, you must not have unprotected sex because the virus can still be transmitted. What's the point? Okay, um, let me say this. Advanced HIV, or AIDS like people still like to call it, is not a death sentence at all. Mrs. Ogunleye, you have to be very strong, at least for the baby. The baby? The baby? Yes. I was pregnant. Oh, sweet Lord. I don't even know what to say. Yes. I too didn't. At the time, that is. Congratulations, Mrs. Sabunde. You are six weeks pregnant. What happens to the baby? We would give you a combination best suited and safe for the baby. But again, you must commit to this 100%. Please, keep to your hospital visits and your drug schedule. Any negatives to the treatment I should know? Mrs. Ogunleye, I would advise for a more positive mindset throughout this period. What are the negatives, doctor? Every drug has a side effect. Don't tell me this one is a miracle drug, else it should be curative. Okay. A drug like efavirenz is mostly associated with psychiatric symptoms. While drugs like protease inhibitors are more likely to raise levels of cholesterol and triglycerides. Also, some side effects may not emerge until months and years of starting the treatment. <laughs> Keep it coming, yes. Just let me hear more, okay? Hit me with more negatives, I can take it. What else is there to fear, really? In one breath, you have just told me I am expecting and I have AIDS. If you are such a considerate angel, would you tell a pregnant woman that she has AIDS? Would you? I'm sorry. I'm 
so sorry, Mrs. Ogunleye. You have to be strong. I'm so sorry, my sister. It's okay. The worst days are over. Are you serious? That's awesome! <laughs> well, I can't wait to wrap up filming and just run right back home. No, no, don't, don't. Um, I'm fine. Are you sure? Yeah, take your time. I'm fine. No, I'm coming back, baby. I'm coming to spoil you silly. Okay. Take care. Take care of yourself, okay? Love you. Yeah, love you too. Did you deteriorate to get to this point? I mean, what went wrong? My mind. My outlook on life. My thoughts. My beliefs. All the lack of it. I chose negativity over positivity. For some reason, I felt my case was different. And with that mindset, I never researched topics like surviving HIV, or how to cope with the treatment. No, all I looked out for were timelines for death after full-blown AIDS societal stigmatization, infants born with AIDS, cancers associated with advanced AIDS, death rates, and so on and so forth. I got myself loaded with so much negative information. And so my case got worse. And that is what went wrong, my friend. Ah, you want So we said again, Wefi, that's your idea. Ah, who found your idea them? What's going on, my dear? You look sad. Are you okay? I am pregnant, ma. Oh, hallelujah! It's a good news. Okay. But what is this, oh? You want my email for what? These are drugs now. You want my, this one you are looking so sad. Good year, you may commit abortion. I have advanced HIV, ma. Advanced what? AIDS, ma. Oh, God. Why me? Why are you punishing me like this? You are not the one being punished. I am. How? Tell me. Remember all the orders people placed for special goods that I never got round to showing you? This is the special good, Suma. My body. Ah! Jesus! These are opportunistic infections. Cancer-like, Kaposi's sarcoma, and lymphomas. This is not good, Mrs. Ogunle. You hardly ever showed up for your visits. 
Are you sure you have been taking your medication? Sometimes, doctor. Sometimes was not your prescription, Mrs. Ogulea. 100% compliance was required of you. I couldn't bring myself to take over 20 tablets a day. It's depressing. Do you want to die? Why do you keep on resisting medication? Look, Mrs. Ogule, I cannot help more than I am already. You hold the key to your recovery now. Look, HIV reproduces very quickly in the human body and is prone to developing genetic mutations and resistance to medication when not taken properly. Even a rarely missed dose can dramatically increase the level of suppression. Mrs. Ogunleye, the drugs you wasted cost a lot of money. Recall how much you paid for them? I don't know what else to do, doctor. I'm tired. So what do we do? Stop the treatment? Or get you started on another combination set? Listen. I cannot force treatment on you. You have the right to decline. So I ask you again, Mrs. Ogulea, shall we get you started on another combination set? Yes, doctor. But why did you resist treatment? Hmm? You could have tried. I denied myself the use of the drugs for fear of affecting the baby. I didn't believe for one second that taking so many drugs would not affect the baby. All the baby needed was prenatal vitamins and I got just that. By this time your husband hadn't returned? He still had a lot of work to do. And so I begged him to stay back. I assured him I was fine and that the first trimester had passed. Why didn't you want him around? I was ashamed of myself, Reverend. I was scared that he would come back and test positive for the virus. A man that honestly loved me and gave me life. <sighs> to pay him back this way. Oh, Grace. I cannot imagine your trauma. Best not to try. Oh, baby. Hmm? See how frail you look. God! I'm sure you have to go through this alone. My mouth is sour. I salivate a lot now. Okay. <laughs> I'm here now. I'll take care of you. Why, why, why did you tell me you were okay? I could have come right away. I didn't want you to cut short your trip. Come on, you boy. You know I'll do anything for you. I know. You're here now. Mm. Can I feel your bum? Yeah, sure. Oh my God, I'm going to be dirty. Thank you. What? There's something I must tell you. What is it? <clears throat> what now? I tested positive to advanced HIV. I wish I could turn back the hands of the clock for your sake. When were you diagnosed? Three months now. And you're just telling me? 
three months. You're just telling me now. You were away. I didn't want to disturb you. Any manifest symptoms yet? Yes, lots. Have you been placed in anti-retroviral house? Yes. Any progress? Not much. Not any. Oh God. I am so I'm, I'm sorry. My past has come to haunt me. I was a call girl. Was that how you met my father? Yes. Were you using protection with him? That means he and I now need to get tested. Pancho, I want you to understand that I'm truly sorry. I'm really sorry. But circumstances beyond my control pushed me into the trade. Sweetheart, please. There is no circumstance under the sun that should make you start selling your body for money. None. Because if you can walk the streets, you can flag down cars, climb a bike, make calls, an entire car, a taxi, a customer's car, drive to their house or welcome them to yours and flag them, right? And get up and smile and get paid or get some gifts and then walk away. Then you can fucking do anything else with your life. Don't use that excuse. It's overplayed. I'm sorry. No. I am. I know you hate me now. But I understand. If you want me to leave. Don't say that. I couldn't hate you if I wanted to. For better, for worse, remember? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, I love you. I'm prepared for the worst. Pancho. Okay, get a condom. I may already be infected, you know that. Please. 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 I beg, wait, 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 Biko. Oga, with all due respect, this na stupidity I've been a love. She ain't to say ain't na play play. You want to shine that Congo. I will not take offense at that because at least you recognize the gravity of HIV. But if you interrupt again, you will have to leave. And that goes for everyone. You have been given sheets of paper and pens. Make use of those and save us the, the headache of having to pause and replay. Excuse me, sir. Please, with all due respect, I don't think you should ask anyone to leave. We all came here for a purpose. Your purpose. I don't know about anybody else, though, but I want to speak for myself. I am with you in this matter till the very end. In fact, I need to get that money and get off the streets as soon as possible, especially after watching this. I'm going to also open a salon, just like your wife, and even employ half of the girls here. Make your leg break as you sit down there, they talk that nonsense with it, your stupid mouth. Now you go employ me. I've been a me go employ you. Oh, 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 oh. You think say na salon business or go choose because in white be own one. 
See, you stupid die. In fact, I don't know what to tell you. Make you shut your own mouth. Lady, Wait, see. calm I down. Know you. Calm down. I appreciate your involvement with this, but we haven't come to the presentations yet. You will have your time when it comes, but for now, let's just continue. Let's continue. Doctor, please tell me that she would, she would lead a normal life and give birth to a healthy <laughs> baby. Mr. Guleye, I'm, I'm sorry I cannot promise you that. But I'm glad you're back because somebody needs to talk some sense to your wife. Her first set of drugs was wasted because she just wouldn't take them. A second set was handed her, but no one knows if she's taking them or not because she doesn't show up for all her routine checks. Mr. Ogunye, the hospital cannot afford to hire monitoring nurses for all our patients as there are hundreds of them in treatment. So everything depends on the patient. And your wife, I'm sorry to say, has, has been anything but cooperative. If she's not cooperating with treatment, can we get her hospitalized with or without her consent and make good decisions concerning her treatment? No. We cannot force treatment on a competent adult. She has legal rights to refuse. Then let's prove incompetence and save my wife. We can do that. At least I know that she is depressed. Well, Mr. Ogunleye, depression does not incapacitate her. There is really nothing we can do. Look, in general, a court will uphold a competent adult patient's decision to forgo medical attention, even if that decision will result in the patient's death. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you. Kuo, is this your plan? To die and leave me in pain and sadness? Do you plan to die and leave your aged mother? Is it your plan to die and destroy the, the rare gift that is inside of you? Do you plan to succumb to an illness that really kills these days? Really? It's not exactly the true statistics, Banjo. What is wrong with you? What has gone inside you? What have you been feeding yourself? Why don't you take your drugs and have a chance to a healthy life? A life that involves taking up to 20 pills a day for an indefinite period? Even if it is lifelong, who cares? As long as you're healthy. Isn't that what should matter? How selfish can you be? Roger, please. Before you call me names, let me be. What else do you want me to do beyond what I am already? Just take your drugs religiously. Should I? Cut my throat open so you see how sore I am. Just so you know, I have gagged out more than I've been able to swallow. Perhaps if you have not destroyed your first treatment, your tolerance level might have improved. Roger, you are so mean right now. It's impossible to look at you. Forgive me for refusing to come to terms with the fact that my life is on a deep and about to end. The sympathy you want, you're not going to get it from me. And you have to stop saying these things because you're beginning to sound like a common illiterate, someone who didn't go to school. Well, I only manage primary four, so I guess I'm acting according to the level of my literacy. Everything else you ever saw was all street learning. Take your drugs, goddammit! Want me to take the drugs, right? Fine! I'll take them up. Banjo! Banjo! Mama? Cabo, come in. Son, please tell me you tested negative. 
Yes, I did. Ah, Oluwashu. I'm God. Hmm. My son, you must divorce that girl immediately before she infects you. Hmm. How can you say that? Banjo, your father will be very angry with you if you go back to that girl. You're being disobedient, you know. My father. Well, go and report me to him. But while you're at it, make sure you ask him about his own test results. Hmm? Ask him. Make sure he tells you. Ask him. Stay. Ask him. Why, sh why should I ask him about his... Ah. Banjo, come back here and explain yourself. What has your father got to do with this? Abego, who talks say mistresses and a shower? Say, no be the same thing. Now the same work all of us they do. Hmm, <laughs> see all these people safe. All of them are learners. I beg, me kuna drop that fancy name and call a spade a spade. But me kuna help me think this matter. The man fit to true love the woman. But because she don't fat break at the fugra, the man don't like him again. Plus the abuna, don't turn up cargo. And this man, when I they see like they shine her like who thief got make money. He go like to shop fresh Congo. Una no sa sin look yummy. Compared to her. You, 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 get up. Now! Get out. Okay, babe, no vest now. It's just that the film is getting tough and we must be taken in. Really? Being taken in and talking crap are two different things. He said, no more comments. I don't get it. Does standing out on the streets completely erase your sense of reasoning? Uh -huh. I beg you now, eh? Cool down. You said, just a poor fool for you. I'm so sorry, Mr. Okoleye. We lost the baby. Oh, God. Well, um, there is still a significant amount of fetal tissue and product of conception of more than 50 mm still trapped in her uterine cavity that needs evacuation urgently. We will need you to speak to her to give her consent so we can carry out surgery. We tried to get her to sign it, but 
she wouldn't, understandably so. Please, get her to sign it. Sure. I am so sorry, Mr. Ogunle. Still, some significant amount of fetal tissues inside you. The doctor says that um, she doesn't want you to lose much more blood than you have already. So, um, they want you to sign this. She consent. I killed our baby. I'm sorry. You could just... just sign it. You're angry. I know. I am too. I don't deserve to live. Just don't say that. Alright, just sign. Please. No. You want to die? But I killed our baby. No, you didn't. And now they want to take what is left of him inside. It's for your own good. For your health. All right? Okay, I'll sign it. After you get Reverend Peters. Peters. I need to speak to him. Why? Please just get him. Why? Please. Just get him. Thank you. Doctor, can I just sign this thing for her? Because she's asking for her reverend before she signs it. I don't know, Mr. Ogunle. Um, a man wants to sue the hospital for treatment without his consent. So we are only trying to be careful. I hope you understand. Perhaps you should get her the reverend she asks. Have you signed the form yet? No. Why not? I'm joining our talk, Reverend. No! The talk can wait. You must sign the forms to save your life. Will God ever forgive me for killing our baby? You did not kill your child. And even if you did, all you have to do is to ask him for forgiveness and he will forgive your sins. I hope so. That's all. Because the things I don't do for this my life. I don't know if you talk. 
Even God self go shame to look me for face. Trust me on this. That's all you need. Not a confession to a priest. Your confession and repentance should be to God. I feel better hearing that from you. Okay. Help me bring the forms. I will sign it. Good. Thank you. Thank you, Reverend. Positive and to take their status and prescription very seriously if diagnosed with the virus. Age is not what kills. Help them to get out of this booming trade as much as you can. Appeal to their conscience by asking them the simple question Is it really 